Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another video. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Christy. In today's video, as you can probably tell from the box here, I'm gonna share with you my new Instant Pot. I wanna first start this video by saying this is not sponsored. I am not being paid for this video, nor did I receive this as a free item to review. I made this purchase 100% myself. The company has no clue that I'm even doing this video. I am simply doing this to share with you my thoughts on this new Instant Pot that I bought. However, with that being said, if I do sponsored videos or review videos where the company actually sends me something, I do just wanna let you know that I still will do the same honest review whether I am getting the product for free or whether in like this case, I'm purchasing it myself. So just wanna put that out there. So this is actually the Instant Pot Duo Crisp Plus Air Fryer. This is like the 11 in one, but I love it. It is an Instant Pot and an air fryer, like the best of both worlds. This is actually the eight quart version. I think that there's maybe a six quart version. So I'm really super excited. I have been using this for the last couple days just so that I could come on and make sure to give you a real review. I've had a pressure cooker, but it's the Elite Bistro or Bistro Elite, I think Elite Bistro. And I've been wanting the Instant Pot brand, but I didn't really want to get rid of that one because my mother-in-law, when she passed, she left it for me. The good thing is it's being passed down to my daughter. The two of them are really close, so it makes total sense. So let me take you in the kitchen and I'll just show you just a little bit of this. I'm not gonna show you any of the cooking, uh, but I will show you a little bit and then in future videos, I'll show you some cooking with it. All right, so this is what it looks like in my corner and I didn't bring my stand with me. So I'm gonna do the best I can to try and do this one-handed. Okay, so basically this is your typical Instant Pot. Even though this one is the one with the air fryer, basically this is just like your regular one except for some of the settings are gonna be different. So, except for this pot, that's for the air fryer. So it comes with the regular pot insert and then your regular lid. So then it just works the same way any Instant Pot does. But the difference with this is you can also use it as an air fryer. So it comes with the air fryer basket, which goes right inside the pot. And then it has this air fryer lid, which is sitting on a base, which is what they say to set it down on. So as you can see, this has like all the heating element for the air fryer. So when you take the lid off, you're gonna use it, this to set it on, kind of like a hot pad. So for this, let me show you. The lid just sits on there and you can hear it, like you literally just press on it and that's it. And then air fry and that's it. It sounds just like the air, regular air fryer. So then it will tell you like to flip your food. So then you just lift the lid, pull it up, and that will stop it. And then you can, you know, take this out, flip your food around. Now, one thing that I think, let me shut this off. One thing that I think is excellent about the Instant Pot is there are a lot of things that I'll make in my Instant Pot, sometimes in my uh, slow cooker as well where I will cook them in that, and then for like maybe the last five minutes, I'll throw them in my oven or throw them under the broiler just to kind of get the tops crispy. So with this, the good thing with this is let's say I'm doing a chicken, a whole chicken in my Instant Pot. At the end, I can just take this top off, pop this top on, and then I can get that crispiness to the top of the chicken like I want like I would normally get in my oven. So I think that's the best thing about it. So I do like that it's a two-in-one. I can keep this on my counter. I am kind of big about keeping uh, a lot of kitchen accessories, kitchen gadgets and things like that on my counter. I don't like a whole lot of them. So usually I end up storing these under my cat in my cabinets or under my prep table or something. But with this one, this stays on my counter. 
So that one just gets set in the corner. And the only other thing is then you do still have to store this. This is pretty heavy. This is like a really pretty heavy, heavy top. So that's the only thing is you do still have to store this. I just store mine down underneath my prep table. On the, I have a shelf under my prep table. I just put it there. So, but that is what it looks like. I love it. I love it. And this one was on sale. I think the regular price on this one is like $179. And I want to say I paid $129 for it. If I'm incorrect about that, I'll put it down on the screen. But if you don't see anything on the screen, then it was $129 I paid for it. So I am just really happy to have the actual Instant Pot brand and the fact that I could get a two-in-one with the air fryer. So this is actually an 11-in-1. So it does a lot of different things. It has the pressure cook, saute, slow cook, steam. This one also has a sous vide button. So I'm excited to try that one. That's kind of like where you cook meats like in a bag and it's kind of like vacuum seal them in the bag and they cook that way. It's supposed to cook them to like a perfect temperature. And then air fry, roast, bake, broil, and dehydrate. So that is all the settings that it has. Now I do still have my regular air fryer. This is my Secura, Secura, I think that's how you say it. Secura air fryer, this is like 5.3. And I like this one and I'm still gonna keep this one. There are times where I want two air fryers because I might be cooking two different things. For example, tonight I used two air fryers. I used this one plus my new one. In this one, I had homemade potato wedges. They were so good. I just put them in a bag with a little bit of olive oil and some seasonings and just cooked them right in this air fryer. And then in the new air fryer, I did some chicken tenders. I just basically used the frozen bag of chicken tenderloins, just dipped them in egg and then put them in a mixture of panko breadcrumbs and regular pet breadcrumbs that were seasoned with some seasonings like garlic powder, onion powder, and those turned out really good. So for times like that, I do like to have two of them. So that's why I am still gonna keep this one and also the new one. So I'll link both of these items down in the description box below. So if you're interested, you can go check them out yourself. So that is my review for the Instant Pot Duo Crisp and Air Fryer. I absolutely love it. So I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. I'll talk to y'all in my next video. I'm Christy and I'm planning us healthy.